Welcome back to the Reptiles with Podcast. Yo, Lemon Frost is out, dude. Yo, that? What's up? Okay, okay. I'm not going to lie, bro. I'm not going to lie because I know some people are about to talk shit because I'm about to talk shit. Okay. But like, I don't even know what went down. I'm ready to talk shit, though. Okay, yeah, I, okay, need, okay. I need it broken down. So, Lemon Frost, right? Lemon Frost is a gene of leopard gecko that we've made jokes about it in the past, right? Yep. Uh, it is a gene that pretty much, it's fucked up. It, it's linked to like a cancer some way in the pigmentation i'm not a fucking some scientist. tumors right? yeah yeah, yeah, it has yeah, tumors yeah, yeah. On it. i'm not a scientist all right but the guy that i believe the guy that founded the gene partnered up with a university or some shit they proved that yeah this is a reality and he was like i'm not breeding these things anymore mm-hmm. and it's kind of like wildly like known we, we shouldn't work with these animals anymore mm-hmm. because of the uh the issues right like spider ball python yep no no it's a different thing it's a different thing it's okay. a different thing yeah right. but like similar sim- similar situation yeah S- similar concept yeah. similar uh not the same uh, <laughs> what, what makes it not the same though what happened what makes it not the same We'll get there. We'll get there. We'll get there. We'll get there. All right. But let, let me try to like get this guy going. Right. So geeky gecko creations. I don't know. Tiki's? The, no. <laughs> Tiki's geckos creations. <laughs> so uh, this geeky guy. Um, apparently he works with the gene. He has this like theory of trying to prove it out. Uh, but it's been an issue in the community and people are like, nah, dude, don't do this thing. Mind you, I don't have all the facts. All right. I listened to one podcast and I read a couple things and I'm like, I think I know it all. Right. Okay. The nice. reptiles with podcast. Yeah, I'll look into it after this. Maybe the next podcast. Yeah, I'll know yeah, more, yeah. but today I'm talking shit. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That's what we do here. Um, Mind you, I guess he seems like a nice guy, but supposedly he got kicked off of Morph Market for it. And also he is keeping uh, these, I almost said crusty geckos. These, because I was thinking tiki's geckos. These, <laughs> these leopard. Not geckos. Not the same. Yeah, these leopard geckos. He's keeping them in like these small, like sandwich containers, like Rubbermaid tubs. Yeah, the the little ones that are literally for yeah, yeah, sandwiches. Yeah. And he has like a bunch of like videos, or he's done some lives where he's uh, picking up the animals by the tail. Uh, mind you, I don't know this. I didn't really watch those videos. I don't know the severity of it. <laughs> Sorry, is that I'm trying to grab your tail. <laughs> um, but yeah, so he's. Apparently, hella canceled right now. How are we feeling? Oh, interesting. I mean, mm. by the looks of it, by the sound of it. So you're saying he was breeding some fuck shit? Yeah. That people are already saying no, just like the spider ball python, the exact same thing. And he's breeding them anyways. Uh. And then after that, you're telling me he is keeping them in smaller tub- tubs than regular tubs. So sandwich tubs is what you're I mean, telling me. I mean, there's also probably no way to get heat that way. You're not wrong. Like, at least in a rack system, there is an attempt to give the animal heat. But I, I, the, from the video that I saw, it looked like just Rubbermaid. Like, on, stacked on top of each other. Each other in I'm sure shelf. the excuse is that the, heat, the room is heated. Yeah. That's usually how that kind of stuff is. goes. I guess. I, like, well, honestly, okay. like, perfect example is here. This is an 80 degree area. No, but the difference Most is of my stuff isn't on heat. Uh, it's, also, for all the at viewers, t- we are currently at <laughs> Eric's place. Woohoo! At Hello. Reptiverse's location. Anyway, 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 anyway. You got the pins. You, even with an ambient temperature in this room, right? Each, every single one of your animals has access to a heat grade. A heat spot, yes. Yeah. Okay. In that kind of a se- setup. I, honestly, I don't know which one I prefer or really which one the animals themselves prefer. Long time, I or long term, I would say heat gradient. They want to be yes. able to make the mm-hmm. choices. Yeah. However, if that's not per, if that's not good, like if you have the heat spot way too hot and the cold side is way too cold, I think they would prefer like an ambient heat and be like, you know what, I'd rather just be In this temperature all the time. Yeah. Given that, like... If he's actively like breeding these animals, he's keeping them like adults in these in these type of situations. It's like, dude, I, like it's not the best for them. You know, it's not of the course. best. Uh, of yeah. course. Point is, they're 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 in little tubs. That I feel like what he keeps them in is like a mixture of of tubs and deli cups put together. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, yeah. So that's what that's what he has. And I feel it. like it's easy for that specific species and other small geckos for that to be practical from a breeding standpoint mm-hmm. i feel like that's where all that comes from i like i wouldn't do it personally i i don't agree with it oh by the way i'm down to two ball pythons i've gotten rid of all my my uh my tubs uh-huh. so i'm very excited about not having tubs anymore. oh yeah let's go so, yeah, congratulations yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> finally um, he's looking at them like you guys are bad for me like, yeah. <laughs> i can't post to you guys ever <laughs> I, I i i really hate the freaking tubs uh yeah. but the, by the looks of it, it looks really fucked up the way he keeps them. The way he handles them does too. But I think I've seen other people do the same. Now, I haven't seen the reptile, not the reptile, the leopard gecko world in a very long time. Mm-hmm. So he's probably on the old school 
mindset of things, which is also not good, nor is it an excuse. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Now, him breeding the the, the 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 gecko that has all the tumors and stuff, again, it reminds me a lot of the spider ball python. It's the same principles being involved. Yeah, and it's like, I'm not for defending him. I'm not for the spider ball python as it is. Mm-hmm. It's like, I feel like a lot of people might jump in and be hypocritical about it. Uh, there was also the video about the ball python. It's like, cause I guess he works with ball pythons too, going over and across open gecko tubs. You know, and it's like, dude, there's, there's geckos in there. Like, yeah. don't, like, it don't put even your, have to eat them. Just the weight. The uh, yeah. Just, yeah. Like going through them. I'm like, dude, don't put your animals in the, don't, don't put your animals in the risky situations. Yeah. That, okay. I, that, that pissed me off. Yeah. That right there, that right there is fucked. Um, what, what do you guys think? Yoshi, what do you think? Yeah. Eric, what do you um, think? Um, for me, I'm like, I mean, I don't. I could see how somebody could say it's similar to the to the spider ball python lemon, you know, with the lemon frost thing. Um, uh, I think that the general or like the vast majority of leopard gecko breeders kind of have the understanding that we should not do this. So I feel like if you're complete peer group is saying don't do this it's got to be within reason and for the betterment of the leopard gecko industry and that that all sounds so stupid too like if most of the industry you're in is telling you no with be, reason yeah yeah no no uh, it, yeah with or without fuck it at the end of the day if you're trying to market yourself and have a business wouldn't you want to blend in anyways yeah. and not do the things that your own industry doesn't want you to do yeah. don't you want to make business with those people isn't that like what you're trying to do make money with those people yeah, yeah then yeah. you're just doing i don't know it just doesn't make yeah, sense yeah and what also needs to be taken into account too is ego a lot yeah. of the time when it comes to working with those types types of like genes and all that stuff there's a big ego thing and it goes back to like how people say like oh the haters they're just going to keep saying whatever but it's like if everyone's saying the same thing over and over again yeah. You have to zoom out at some point and say, maybe I'm the problem, you know? I think it's also a, a perpetuation of misinformation. You know, like, you can sell anybody a lemon frost leopard gecko who's off the street. No one's going to yeah. know. No one's going to have any idea that somebody's going to that It's, also, it's almost the same as the, the spider ball python. If they've yeah. never, like, they've never interacted with, with ball pythons, they don't know any of the behavior, then they might even recognize it's a wobble. Yeah. They might not even be like, oh, something's wrong with it. They don't care. And yeah. the, the breeders that, that breed them, they made the money anyway. You think they so take they advantage care. of that customer base? For those, those, those uh, some people animals. do. Some Ball people pythons do. and leopard geckos are beginner animals. Yeah, when I got my, my first spider, I didn't know about it until I saw it. And it's one of the worst ones I've ever seen. Really? Yep. Hmm. Yep. I think with the ego thing, it's like, you know, he, he wants to be the one to do the thing. The he wants one to be to a fix trailblazer. It. He yeah, wants yeah. to be the one to do the thing. Yeah, and the one know? to fix it. Same thing with the spider ball python. It's like... Oh, I'm the one that's going to breed it and get the wobble away. You know, everybody has that mentality, and it's like, it's been years, bro. It's been <laughs> it's years. It's not going bro. away. It's it's just thing, mind you. Uh, one of the differences is probably a spider ball python can live a very long time. Yeah. Uh, with the wobble, where this thing probably has its lungs shut by the fucking tumors or whatever. I, yeah. That's just me talking. So, Yosh, I'm not sure. Question for you said it was it wasn't the same as a spider because we're all saying oh it's the same thing it's the same principle. Yeah. But you said it was different. How? One's a snake and one's a gecko. That's exactly <laughs> it. I think I think we figured it out. Um, give me one second, guys. While you do that, there is an orange cable, Chuck. Can you switch your, your cable out? Yeah. Um, okay, so why... I don't know if you guys can help him out. All the way to the left. Sorry, guys. Uh, so why do I think that this is a different scenario? It's fine, it's fine, it's fine. Uh, so why do I think this is a different scenario? Uh <sighs> The lemon frost, we have, mind you, we can all visually see what's wrong with a good amount of spider ball pythons, Mm -hmm. okay? Uh, They vary. Some of them don't show it at all unless they're stressed, and some of them corkscrew, out -hmm. of control. Yeah. Uh, But that is something that is very variable. The lemon frost- Is it for sure. Is a like, hey, like, we've apparently through this paper, they saw that, I, I don't know if it's like- I'm not a fucking scientist. I don't know if they found a protein in the allele and they were like, this is what is linked to the thing that gives the, 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 the you know, the tumor. the tumor. It's like you're literally looking at a visual representation. Mind you, one could say an albino is a defect of a wild type animal, mm-hmm. but you're literally looking, I guess, at a visual representation of what is that defect. Mm-hmm. And it is a apparently linked 
to some kind of uh, tumor, you know. And again, the vast majority of your community is telling you, no, do not do this. Mm -hmm. I agree with that part. But then with the spider ball python, does it matter what the vast majority of your community says at that point? I think because the wobble is variable, but then you're taking the chances with the animal. You're playing yeah. hit or miss. I think that if you look at what the quote unquote larger breeders are doing, you don't see really a spider in that in those collections. I was actually gonna say I think spider might be on its way out. I think most people don't want spider ball pythons. I think most people will probably decline, just keep them sure. keep them the, out. It is on a decline, but you will see that they show up in pet shops. Of course. Uh because you you'd be surprised to know that there are pet keepers that look for that specific thing yeah, that spiders course. have. Yeah. They want they want that rescue that yeah. that the weird yeah and the that weird goes back thing. to the customer base of those animals. The same thing happened with enigmas. So I don't know if you guys know the yes, enigma yes. leopard gecko, but it's basically the spider thing. Yeah, it was a wobble but in leopard yeah. gecko. I've actually and never seen went. an enigma. Yeah, I've yeah, seen them. They, I've seen they them. went. They wobble and like they literally on. fall to the sides and walk yeah. in circles. It's the no. same. It's a, it's the same issue, but yeah. that one. I think the the industry whatever did a pretty good job of just like separating. It. They're still around for sure. Yeah, yeah. but a you lot don't less. See them nearly as much as yeah. even okay. spiders. Yeah, yeah, I yeah. think I think for this guy, I I haven't looked into it enough to say much more. Um, but I will maybe for the next one in case we do, do you bring it up. Know why he was taken off a of morph market? It was because of lemon frost. Lemon frost is banned from morph market. No, yes. yeah, but like that, they'll take off animals. They won't ban your account. That that is the, one of the things that I feel like I do need additional information on. Okay. Because maybe it was a mixture of the fact that oh he has the lemon frost. Maybe he wasn't listing them, but also mm -hmm. in general he was getting his fair share of attacks because I think Eric has more information. Sorry guys. Yeah. 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 No, I think it's more so because of like his allegations with like his animal welfare and Talk stuff. Because we just okay. talked about that. Yeah. And that's all been public too. That's so I fair. think that has a more stronghold on that okay um, you he go just there has in. a bad well like look his entire business just has a bad look overall we saw a reel uh with tipping scales he posted the reel he's posted the reel with tipping scales uh or well tipping scales posted the reel about him um saying that he was going to have him on the his podcast and he was going to talk to him about stuff um and that apparently uh i think frank is his name frank Cusolini. Cusel i don't i don't know i don't know how to pronounce his name but frank i think that uh he responded back and said, like, had made promises that he might change, that things are in the works. He's going to, you know, try to do better, I guess, according to the allegations. Uh, even Tipping Sales was like, I, we'll have to see. We'll have to see. So I don't know. I don't know. We'll yeah, see what happens. Yeah, I can't talking. with the snake. I can't with the snake. <laughs> it's good. And look, if you're Yo. only listening to this, Tino has literally a, a Burmese python yeah, in his snake hand. puppet. <laughs> yeah. And every time that he talks, he keeps going like this, like if it's a fucking puppet. <laughs> no, but at least he's moving the snake and not the mic. Yeah. So let's oh, yeah, let yeah, him yeah, have yeah. it. We're winning. We're winning. Let's <laughs> let him have it. Let's <laughs> let him have it. So uh, I do need more info to, to actually say uh, the bullshit I do want to say. Now, Cancelable, cancelable offense or not? I think so. I think it's valid. Yep. There isn't any like it, when it comes to the people talking about backyard breeder type yeah. oh, setup. Yeah, yeah, it is what him. it is. That's what I, he's we doing. want. We want to move more towards Eric's scenario. Yeah, yeah. which yeah. is what we want to yeah. do. Which we, we're going to talk about for, very soon. Yeah, for me, I think when I say when I when we say cancelable, I think in my head boycott. And for me, a boycott is a yeah. full stop. It's like, hey, we're not doing this anymore. We're not going to support this company until they change. I think in this instance, uh, you can go ahead and start spreading the word, and they, he still has the opportunity, I think, to change. It's not. I don't think at a point where everybody has to bash him and say all this. That's stuff. That's the thing is, I, we, I. This is the thing that I don't like about canceling. Like, I understand why it's done, but like, will you not give the person the chance to get better? To do better. Yeah, right. Some people, right. no. Like, no, no, some people, like the Slither situation, revoke his nah. license, he needs to stop being with animals. Yeah, I mean, like, yeah. stop Take that his immediately. Yeah. <laughs> Drink some bleach. Put I him don't in, know. Put him in his own tubs. Allegedly. <laughs> yeah. Put him in his own tubs. Let him take care of himself. <laughs> Literally, bro. Um, but, yeah, like, uh, uh, I think this is not to, a, I thought this was going to be worse. I, I, was, I was like, geez, another Slither. But yeah. it's like, it's bad. Not great. Go ahead and fix it, dude. It's Do a little bad bit better. husbandry for sure. That, yeah. it, listen, I already don't like tubs. Yeah. I'm not going to like the sandwich package. No, yeah, yeah, either, yeah. Right? It's like, dude, you Come can on. do a lot better. You can do a lot better. Come so. on. Eric's out here showing out. There is there is redemption possible. That's what I mean. Yeah. He can redeem himself. Yeah. I think he can do better. It's force him to be better, guys. Yeah. Force him? Force him. How do you want to force him? <laughs> 
<laughs> Whoa, bro. You said force. Like that was some gra- Four or force? Yeah, I thought you meant that on purpose. I was like, you want to force them? <laughs> what are we saying right now? Anyway. Listen, we're going to talk We're gonna talk about what's going on behind us right now, but Chuck has something to say. Okay, yeah. Chuck so, said that we're hypocrites. Yeah, we are hypocrites, and I have to apologize greatly, dude. Like, ¿Qué pasó? Actually, I don't have to apologize to absolutely no fucking body, so I'm going to be honest. Uh, but there are some people sitting here with me that do have to apologize. Fuck. Um, I have to say you're not one of them. Oh, let's go. Oh, <laughs> so integrity. We're about to team up. We're about to team integrity. Up. So um, a few podcasts uh, ago, we were making some jokes. Um, and the jokes were towards you, Tino. Okay. About you not having a job. Yes, I did not have a job. How many jobs? <laughs> how many? How many? Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. How many jobs do you have? How many jobs do you have? <laughs> you know what? I'll tell you what. I'll tell you what. Look, I'm not trying to talk shit, Eric. Technically. He's self-employed. Technically, I'm self-employed. <laughs> <laughs> He's his own boss. Yo. No. That's apologize. So to what, bro? <laughs> to Tino, bro. We made fun of him. <laughs> if you're not allowed to apologize, because you said that you were, you needed to apologize too. I'm not gonna apologize either. I uh, still got a job though. I don't have to <laughs> apologize. I could still be a hypocrite. I could, I could be a hypocrite a little longer. What is it? What is it? I don't know. Everybody, give him a mic. Am I allowed to say? I'm scared. Are you allowed to say what? Say whatever you want to say, bro. I'm I don't scared. know. Uh, next couple months, I'll be doing educational shows. Yeah. Woo! Teacher yeah. Eric. All right. Let's go, dude. Okay, so. Um, as far as me not having a job, I don't know how much I should say. No, that. Mm, no? Uh, mm, uh, it was just a joke, dude. Okay. It was just a joke. Here. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Wait, hold on. I'm no. hella self employed. If anybody needs a ball python, uh, <laughs> send me a message. Uh, That's so funny. Your boy Wait. needs to uh, pay bills and all that jazz. No, yeah. Wait, so nobody apologized, dude. What am I going to apologize for? We made fun of Tino, dude. Look That's at him. Okay. He's hurt. It's easy to make fun of me. It's okay, fine. Chuck. How many times do we make fun of somebody on this podcast that we don't fucking know and we never apologize? Yeah, but this is our boy, bro. <laughs> fuck them guys, bro. Let's get worse treatment. <laughs> yeah, fuck you, know, you, Eric. You know what? I uh, Tino told me something recently where he realized that he was right about something. I'll give him that. Oh. You know what? I'm always right. Everybody that says, oh Tino's my not god, no, 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 always right. <laughs> Find me the this name of the I, fucking I, zoo. <laughs> this is why I don't want to. I don't want to apologize. <laughs> Find me the That's name so of the funny. zoo and then we talk. That's you so you literally have the berm so on your shoulder. What, what's the name of the zoo? Yeah, yeah literally. Yeah, yeah. Where they come what from? Where did you come from, bro? FWC. Where are you from? FWC. We fucking got them. That one actually. That one actually came from IKEA. It wasn't a bromeliad. Oh my goodness. That's so. All right, all right. So since the heat is gone, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, nothing looks hurt. Um. Let's talk about Eric's please. Dude. Yes. Um, so Welcome. if you listen to the last podcast, uh, we are no longer associated with, you know, a sponsor that we had here for a while. So we are no longer recording there and we're going to be moving around a bit. Today we're at Eric's house. Yeah. Woo. Welcome. Yeah. Yeah. Eric. We're in the Reptiverse. Yeah, we are in the oh. Reptiverse. Into the Reptiverse. Into, Into the, the Reptiverse. reptiverse. <laughs> That's fire. Yeah, that is fire. So All Eric, right. what are you working out here? Yeah, yeah. Talk about working? your shit. Yeah. There you go. All right. For those of you watching, if you follow my arm, on this side, we got Herbert Python. Am I walking through everything I have or just whatever? Just quick. Just do it quick. Just do it quick. I got a little bit of everything. I got some snakes over here, some carpet pythons, some tortoises as we make our way around. More carpets. My favorite turtle, my little Japanese pond turtle back here. I have a water python, my favorite enclosure I've ever made. Got some more turtles, more baby three stripes. And then over here is like my... My prize. The coolest animal. Animal. This is what my reptile hobby has, you know, physical, embodied, mm-hmm. mint, whatever the word is. What? The tism hit. <laughs> yeah. The yeah, tism yeah, was yeah, tism, yeah, dude. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so that right there, that's, that is my Puerto Rican boa. His name is my cousin. Um, and <laughs> yeah. He's an asshole, so I don't really touch him too much, but I gave him this nice little display so when people come upstairs it's like ew you got snakes it's like oh wow what's in there yeah you exactly. did a really good job buddy thank did you did a really good job very thank proud you, of you. you this looks yeah. beautiful out here I appreciate that this is not no sandwich that. shit no tubs <laughs> no nothing bro this is this is what it should look like bro yeah. uh, how old like, are you bro how old are you I'm 22 that guy looked like he was like 35 and he can't even do this bro you know what's one thing come okay. on okay so 
hoarders, right? <laughs> no, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, sorry. Listen, my listen, mom calls listen. me. This. Let me no, 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 no. This is my this mom is, calls me. This is exactly bro. what I'm saying. Is that when you look at clinically, when you look at hoarders, they're almost always ashamed. They never bring people into the house, and that's part of the psychosis. They don't. They know it's wrong. They know that the, their houses shouldn't look like this, right? What are you looking at? He's right. It, what are you doing? So you're 100 percent right. I, I'm, I'm pretty sure I'm right. Wait a second. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I'm pretty sure I'm right. Have you guys seen Tino's house? Yeah, bro. I've never not. seen it. I don't, I, I'm cooler than you guys. I don't let I'm like, I was, I was hoping nobody did. I'm like, I'm like, wait a minute. Has anybody been to Tino's, bro? I've never been Nobody there. goes to my house. Yeah. <laughs> nobody. Nobody. He's gone. Yeah, I've yeah, passed gone. the vibe. Am I a nobody to you or something? Oh, Damn, that's shit. fucked up, That's dude. fucked up. That's wow. fine. Never mind. All right. You wow. I'll buy you guys over. I'll buy you guys over. Anyway, nah, so so hoarders, right? They are ashamed of their houses. They yep. don't want people in their houses and stuff, right? Mm -hmm. So I wonder if anybody, obviously, Yoshi you know, has racks, but I mean like like <laughs> insane rack people, like with a lot of racks. Like the racks are in the living room. Oh, basically, yeah. And it's I have like, a story. do they ever bring uh, people? Yep. Are they ever yes. like, oh, I want you yes. guys to check out my yes. collection, look at the stuff? Yes. That, and see, that's I so have weird. A really, no, 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 no. Eric, here please, at Eric's place, please, please, Eric please, can please, easily please. bring someone here and be like, hey, dude. I'm proud of the things that I've done. I'm proud of the way my animals are set up. Come look at them. And he, he, he's no shame. Bro, I'm about to tell you a crazy story. Tell us what. So for. when I started doing the YouTube stuff, right, and I was popping off a little bit on the Repticon stuff, right, mm -hmm. uh, I, I met this guy, and bro, he seemed cool. And he invited me and one of my boys to see his collection. So we go to his house. Sketchy ass place, bro. Sketchy ass. I'm like, huh, okay, whatever, bro. Like, we're with the shits, you know what I mean? He had like all sorts of cool snakes, like mm. bull snakes, Fire. black pine snakes, Fire. like cool shit, bro. First snake that he opens, it's a dead snake. Oh we're my like, what God, the no fuck way. is going on? No way. Listen, 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 listen. Closes it up. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you laughing? I think, I, I think he's taking a nap, dude. That's so sad. No, listen, 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 bro. Wait, he said he's, is, he thinks he's taking a nap? He, no, no. I <laughs> remember, I noticed snake? it was dead, but he closed it quick. <laughs> He didn't think that we saw it. Jeez. And me and my boy are like, oh, what the fuck? Bro, it smelled crazy. So it was a room, right? And then it was a whole bunch of racks with the big ass snakes. And then on the other side, it was a closet. In the closet, the doors were taken off. And it was a rat rack. In his house. Inside the house. That's so disgusting. it smelled exactly That's like that. Crazy, bro. Then after that, we're just looking at shit, looking at shit. And out of nowhere, a rat falls from the ceiling to the That's floor. That's a dude. lie. No, I That's swear crazy. to God. I swear to God. We never returned. Never. I actually went to a hoarder's house to try to purchase a ball python collection. Ooh, that's a collection? Crazy. Check this out. So I was uh, fresh into breeding ball pythons, and um, it was uh, another time when the market was bad, so people were getting out. Yeah. And these people, uh, they lived in Miami. They were like, hey, um, you can purchase our collection, but you got to come pick it up at our house, whatever, racks and everything. So I'm like, oh, I'm going to finally do the thing, the acquisition, you know? You acquire another business and you grow yours, right? So I show up to these people's house and, um, God, I'm talking so much shit right now. <laughs> the wall from like the floor in like a slope was just junk, junk. Like random? Random shit, dude, like a, like a tower, just like their shrine of bullshit, right? Ain't that fucking lit, dude? Dude, no, that's crazy. That's crazy. No, it's a crazy story every talking time. Talking about shit. Cat shit yep. everywhere. Yep. Why do they always have cats? No. I don't know. I don't. And by the way, cats? remember that slope of shit? The cats had homes within it. That's disgusting. Catacombs. That's Cat so nasty. Catacombs. <laughs> Meow. So All right. So I'm like, yo, I gotta go straight to the to the back where they had the animals. This is Miami, right? They had the animals in a screened in patio in racks in Miami, and I was like, okay, weird. The patio smelled like shit. You know, the animals looked like shit. Jeez. That was a hella hoarding situation. Yeah, fuck. I don't think that they're Did in you the purchase. No, <laughs> hey, I bro. literally looked at all that and I'm like, I'm going home with a disease. You left them to die. Wow, bro. You didn't rescue them, question. dude. Wow. <laughs> you could have started a whole modern reptile rescue, dude. <laughs> what would you guys say is the definition of animal hoarding? Um, I have mine. Yeah, uh, I think a whole bunch of animals that you can't really take care of properly and you keep getting more and more. And what more does that mean, taking more? care of properly? If I have like, like 5,000 like ball pythons in racks 
and they're all clean. They're all nice. Like is proper. Hoarding, no. Well, to me, to me, Michael. To some people, it's not hoarding because it's quote unquote a business, and you get to sell them. To me, it is because you just have a whole bunch of animals in the most minimalistic place you can have mm-hmm. them uh, with with barely any type of enrichment. So to me, that is hoarding. You just make a business out of it, and you can sell it. Sorry, Yoshi, but that's what it is to me. I met one person when I was when I was working at the OCIC. I love you, Yoshi. Um, he, we were talking about uh, reptiles. Support Almost my everybody. small business. <laughs> Almost everybody keeps reptiles, so I'm like, oh, what do you have at home? And she says, uh, bearded dragon, leopard gecko, stuff like that. Mm-hmm. And then she says something interesting. She's like, I honestly think anybody who keeps ten or more reptiles or animals in general has a problem. Like they, something's wrong with them. And I'm like, huh. Interesting. The reason why I asked that is because that's I mean, how it, my for me, I was like, that's kind of a low number. <laughs> yeah. The thing I, I'm past 10. Think so like, about that. Think about that. Imagine somebody saying, ah, oh, 10 dogs is a low number. No, but that's insane. 10 no, dogs is a crazy insane. amount. No, but it is still insane. Like, we have that many lives to take care of. It just like, looks different like, listen, because listen. everything's in a box. In yeah, a but we're, we're still crazy. Like, we're not normal, dude. Yeah, True. I agree. Like, it's we're not, not normal. normal. Something's no. off. Yeah. Something's weird. We just want these reptiles in cages. I think something's a, wrong with us. I think there's a point where it's like a serious appreciation to the point where it needs to be in the house with you. Like we we're tismed out. Yes by and it. no. Like yes okay, no. so it's not. Unfortunately, it's live animals. But other people who have hobbies or have things that they enjoy, activities, it comes into the house sometimes. Yeah, but yeah. it's not. But not as like. Let's say somebody that collects Legos. The Legos can just stay there. You just build them and you put them there. That's it. Now we're talking about an animal. Animals that you have to take care of. And depending <laughs> that, on how you take care of them. And that's the, the line. That's the line. The like yeah. guns. Can right? we pull up? There are people who keep... I'm serious. I'm serious. There are people who yeah. keep a lot of guns. Can we there pull up? There are people up? who keep a lot pull of collectibles. Yeah. Uh, and, pull up to my crib. And it's like, at, at what point is it like, why do you have all of this? Can and we with pull animals, up? animals, it's different. The well, definition of hoarding? Well, well, because I think I think there's a difference. There, there's got to be a difference within. Oh, you just have a lot of something, and what actual hoarding is. I have my definition. Wait, try yeah, try not to pull it because you're making a lot of rumbling. Oh my 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 yeah. my. Hold on. Can I say my definition first? Yeah, say your definition and right. then prove why he's wrong. <laughs> Mine is very simple. If the amount of animals that specifically with animal hoarding, if the amount of animals you have surpasses your ability to take care of them, that I believe is hoarding. And what double if, that with like acquiring and acquiring and acquiring specifically too if they don't have specific use. So like if you're not selling or making money with them, there shouldn't be any reason for you to bring What if the them. way of keeping that you have is as minimalistic as possible, see, no enrichment? Let's see let's see the actual definition okay, of Okay, so the official definition is a persistent difficulty discarding or parting with possessions because of a perceived need to save them. Okay. A rescue. <laughs> yeah. So for me, hoarding hoarding for me is not a set number. It's Mind you, none of us, except for what... Okay, none of us are Webster. That was Webster. <laughs> it's a disorder. It's a it disorder. is a disorder. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So for me, it's not it's not necessarily about quantity. It's not about number. Yeah. It's about an obsession. It's about mm. an, a certain obsession with and not, then not being able to to either use them to put them to use, quote quote, because control. these are these are animals, so it's weird. It it is a control thing. It is a form of anxiety. Yeah. Hoarding is a form of anxiety because they they want to have control of the situation of the and, item and, itself. And then also not having control. Like oh, look, control is animals. an illusion. Nobody has control. Control isn't real. Oh and so we just assume control. Oh we try to grab onto control. The problem is disorder comes in. This is not the reptiles with philosophy. <laughs> <laughs> this guy said control is not real. Control is not real. Bro, I'm in control what can you right control? now. You can't control shit. I you can't even control if you breathe right now. I could beat yeah, if you need a shit right now, you can't control it. You can't control whether you shit right now. I could beat the dog Nothing. shit out of you, but I'm controlling myself. <laughs> I could beat the dog shit out of okay, you. Okay, for me, as far as animal hoarding goes, um, I, I agree with Eric in the sense that like, if you have too many animals and you cannot um and you you cannot one afford to care for them or just generally care for them and as far as care that that's variable depending on what your use of it is um i i think i with animals it's fucking it's weird because like it's a life yeah. It's not a product. It it's not yeah. an item. Yeah, it's yeah. a life. Yeah, it, it, it can't be... I don't think it could be super synonymous with the actual definition no. of hoarding. 
but I don't. I I would not say Ooh. a person that breeds ball python in racks that just has bedding water bowl and feeds them once a week. I don't think that that's hoarding. I think that that it that what? has its use. Is is there absolutely not? Is there a definition for animal hoarding? Look up that. Yeah, we, we have the internet now. <laughs> I yeah, think yeah. AI, dude. Do I, AI I right think there's now. also an element where if you can't stop, I think if you are into That's reptiles, I, if you're into reptiles and you're like, damn, bro. What? 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 what, 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 what? Isn't that no. control? No, Tino's. No, it's not control. Like, Tino's like control. making everybody it's controlling in the community. Damn, we have a fucking problem. No, 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 no. We do have a yeah. problem. <laughs> no, it's the not. thing is, I am willing to admit it. <laughs> I don't it's have not. A problem, it's not about control. It's about saying, if you if you cannot like say like. I don't want this animal. I want this one. You can't be particular about it. You don't have a set amount, but you're like, is there something? this is what I like. This is what I, I'm going to go ahead and have. Okay, what does it say? Okay, so the official definition for animal hoarding is an acclimation of animals that has overwhelmed a person's ability to provide minimum standards of care. Those standards include nutrition, sanitation, shelter, veterinary care, and socialization. <laughs> Yeah, that's my that's yo. My veterinary uh, care is a big yeah. one. That's a big just one. Be careful with that mic. For some reason, it's making mad noise whenever the cable moves. Okay. I don't know, but it's, yes, it's by, our, it's by our feet. That's why. Yeah, yeah. Uh, okay, I okay. felt it. I felt it. Uh, but yes, so I mean, that's a great fucking definition. Yeah. Saves my ass. Uh, <laughs> but no, no, no. <laughs> how many? Can you? How many times have you been to the vet, bro? I was gonna say, can you take whenever every they animal it, you own? Whenever to the they vet? need it, every time. Hmm. If they need it, every time. Okay. I'm not gonna have. Yeah, of course. Why not? You ain't lying on the pod, dude. <laughs> if it's if it's something that if it's a, for example if it's something that I cannot figure out or if I don't have any experience with it, of course I'm gonna take the animal to the vet. Okay, okay. Yeah, if it's something. Respect. Uh, you think most people are doing that? No. I don't know. I think that there's a lot of use of freezers in our industry. <laughs> Absolutely. Way too much than what it needs to be. A hundred percent. That's a fact. Yeah. That's I mean, a fact and a half. I'm glad you admit yeah. it, bro. You're no, a real. Just, you're a real man, bro. I. You're an I, alpha male. I I don't think that I've. Uh, I don't know if I if I can say that. Yeah, say I, don't, I don't think in my collection that I've ever put an animal in a freezer just because I'm like I cannot give the animal its its needs. Yeah, I don't that's think that's crazy. Killing I, the animal just because you can't take care of it. Yeah, yeah. That's insane. I mean, people do it. That's an, uh, that's, that's insane. crazy. That's people insane. do it, bro. Yeah. People do it. Either that yeah. or a bolt gun. Yeah, but I, I've uh, like I was saying before, I have so I have a list of any animals that I will go ahead and accept, or I will take, or if I have the space and money for, I will take. You Anything gotta cover that, that snake's list? ear when you say bolt gun, <laughs> buddy. They can't hear you. Oh, they don't have external ears. Damn fire. He's chilling. Anyway, <laughs> they um, if anything's not on that list, I don't accept it. It doesn't matter. If someone could, someone could give me twenty free bearded dragons, I'm not taking them. I'm like, no, sorry, move on, move them along, because it, it's like if you don't have any kind of like uh, self regulatory behavior, you're not like. Uh, not a bleeding heart for every single case that comes to you or every single animal you see. You're like, I think it's cool. I want it. It's not self-control. It is It's about knowing what's right. It's self-control. You're setting yourself rules. You're sticking to your rules. And that you're following them. That's called self-control. I'm sorry, mm. Tino, but you've literally... We cannot control ourselves. What are we talking about? We can't about? control ourselves. Yeah, we can. How? I, I could beat the dog shit out of you right now, but I'm controlling myself, dude. I'm so? in full control. He's not a dog. You can't beat any kind of dog shit out of him. What are you talking about? <laughs> look, look, look. If you wanted to myself. shit right now, if you wanted to take a shit. Right now, I You could. cannot control it. Right now, I could. No, at some I point, could. you will shit. No. At some point, you will. No. Are you controlling your digestion right now? Your heart beating? No. You can't control any of that. That's different. Control are, is an illusion. No, no, it's not. It is. You're it talking is. about organs. You are all. subject, you are subject to no, the change no, of nature. No, 100%. no, you're not. Yeah. No, you're not. You can control yourself. You can, some people can't, some people can. You mean your brain? My father you killed brain. people because he couldn't control you himself. Control Did he brain? put them in the freezer? You can control your After, brain. Some of them. Okay. For real? No. Oh. He <laughs> left them there. You control your actions. That that's is self-control. Okay. That's, that's self-control. the only thing. That's self-control. <laughs> All right, I'll admit. You, you control, can control your actions. One thing. Yo, I, that's actions. self-control. I that's it. That's guy. it. That's it. That's it. That's one. That's what I was saying earlier. But you're saying about maintaining other kinds of control. What you can't other control kinds? anything what else. What other kind of control did I see? Tino, 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 Tino. About, Wait, sorry, you go. <laughs> we're talking about bringing pets home. Yes. That's what I was saying. That's what we're talking about. Yeah, that's what I was saying. You're you talking came about hoarding. Yes. And like they want to exercise control. I'm like, over the thing? No, control, like self-control, like from buying things. We're just like talking about. stop getting new shit. Those people. Oh, oh you know. <laughs> Jesus. I got, I got a new one for hoarding. People who buy an animal. Because they just get the like notion that I want to buy this animal, and then like three weeks later they're like I don't want this animal, and then they just 
That's a cycle. Flipper. I mean, impulse. That's no, 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 that's not, impulse but they're not selling. They're just like cycling. Those animals. people are impulsive. They're just impulsive. They have no. They, they, they cannot no control. <laughs> yo, yo, that's so funny. Eric, that's yeah, so hard. Yeah, we fucker. Got yeah, they, asshole, bitch. They don't think. They haven't. They have no forethought. They're not like. I, I don't know how I'm gonna. They just see the shiny new thing and they're like, I like it now. I have no forethought of whether or not I'm gonna continue liking it. That's it. They're reactive. They were very reactive. Yeah, they take the situation. And they're like, I'm just gonna do this. Interesting. Okay, next topic if there's one. Because <laughs> I'm fucking over this shit. Yeah, the next topic is just an update on us, man. I think that we haven't seen each other in a little bit. Like Clearly, weeks. a lot has happened in that time. Uh, Are you first, Yosh? I saw you on the, the Reptile Talk podcast, and you were just yeah. at West Palm. Tell us about that. I did do that. So I did do the Reptile pod- the Reptile Talk podcast. It was actually a couple weeks ago. They just started, like, like they started we sharing. We have seen each other since then. What do you? Yeah, what? we've seen them. Potting, potting. Oh, potting. Oh, yeah. We haven't seen each other since then. Um, that podcast was great. Yeah. I really like Rob and Jeremy. They're cool. Uh, I like them a lot. West there was Palm. One, there was a, I'm sorry. There was a joke that they'd mic? said. Yeah, yeah my, my, my mic's fine. Shut up. Mic <laughs> there was a, a, a joke that was said that was hilarious because it was like, I think Jeremy had said something about six inches and then Rob's was like, Rob was kind of silent for a second and then Jeremy continued and then Rob was like, I thought that was going in a completely different direction. And I was like, oh, and it was at the beginning too, before yeah. they bring on the interviewer. Yeah. So I was yeah. like, oh, if Yoshi was there, it would have been God. Yeah. I would have died. There was there was uh there was a time where I made a joke like that mm-hmm. in, in the podcast. Oh, and no and Rob it. thought it was oh. hilarious, but Jared was like, All right. I was like, yeah, dude, come on. Uh, but no, and West Palm was good. We we were in the profit, which was very important for that show. Oh, yeah. Um we were shy of where we want of where I wanted to be but I had high expectations but I, I'm happy with how the show went um, what did you think of it the show it was great it was great it was fun uh, and, and and I needed that um, it was great to hang out with you guys I need to see yeah. you more at shows <laughs> not because of the show <laughs> but but I, I, I want to see you just more often I, I only Buddy, see you once a week I know I, I, I do I did want it to, I, I did want to go to that one uh, but I just <sighs> stressful shit going yeah, on yeah I know but yeah. Um, talking about shows, CattleCon. Oh, that's right. You went <laughs> to CattleCon. Guys, guys, guys. No, 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 Did no, no. they have no. cows there? No, 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 no. Listen, listen <laughs> to me. Listen to me. Listen to me. Listen to me. So that you understand why I sent those videos and pictures, okay? CattleCon. I'm like, what the fuck am I about to go do? I had to do a show in there uh, and pretty much bring alligators and whatever. Brother, I walk in. Whole thing had five cows. Oh, there were cows. Oh, Listen, before, what did you expect? I expected a whole bunch of cows in a fucking auction <laughs> and, at, the, at the convention center. Yes, at the fancy ass convention center. I they didn't some I, fucking cows. They had. There were cows. Okay, but it's called cattle con. And yeah, have that, cattle. I'm like, I'm like, yo, what's up with this, bro? They had horses. Oh, yeah, I'm yeah. Jealous, bro. No, listen, listen though, listen, all right, all right. listen to me. The ticket was hundreds of dollars to get in. That's crazy. There was five cows. <laughs> <laughs> the people that go, they're like, I'm so upset right now. I, paid I need <laughs> Did you a see single a cow? fucking no, 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 cow. No, 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 listen to me. Listen you to me. Cow. Listen to me so that you understand why people paid from all over the United States to go to CattleCon. Okay? <laughs> the visuals of that place were amazing. Everything in there was fucking amazing. Everything. There was lights and big buildings, big machinery, like, and everything was just the biggest. The people were super fucking nice. But everything was about the experience. To me, like, I go and it just looks like lizards and deli cups. It's just, it doesn't look good. You know what I mean? You're not seeing the cows in those deli cups. Yeah, you know what I mean? Like, (laughs) I went to this place and these people riding horses, like, Doing little, yeah, they were doing like little different uh, knots on the ropes on how to catch like cattle and shit like that. They had a whole section for kids to catch like uh, toy cattle so that they knew how to do a lasso and all that. Awesome. Then they had a section for me and, and one of my coworkers to have alligators and people came over and asked us about alligators and held the alligators and learned something. Then across from us. There's just this like fence and there's just puppies in there <laughs> and people went in and played with puppies, dude. Like it was, there was like the the lights. There was food, free food. There was steak, like made by the people that were there. Yes, it was amazing. What is cat? Okay, so what kind of people go to cattle? People who like cattle, cattle con. People who like cows. 
like for so Cow for like reptile expos, right? Like or Comic Con, Mega Con. It's for people yes. who like comic books. Uh, yes. Like who goes to Cattle Con? Cows. Pretty much people. <laughs> uh, like of course cowboys from all around, but also like people that own farms, run okay. farms, people that have horses, bro. Like the the, the booths, the, yeah, the booths that you see. It's like oh, this type of fencing, bro. The technology. I was I was I literally sat down like a billion times and thought about it. Like how the fuck they had like this was there was this one guy uh, who had this thing you know how they have their little earrings on the ears mm. for the cows oh yeah yeah tags. Yeah, they, yeah they put those, those tags well this guy invented this tag that was solar panel and it had a zapper for bugs mm. oh that's cool so it was zap bugs that would get in the ear of the I'm like like this is insane yeah, like you cool. guys are just coming up with the craziest things right now there was it was just like fencing it was like types of grass how to be uh, um, like healthier for the environment healthier ways to do things they were like they were like classes going on that you could just sit down and learn different things how to how wasn't much like for sale then just the fencing and stuff okay. like that yeah interesting but it was a lot of you go there you pay that money because you go there to fucking learn and yeah, learn yeah. from the people that have been doing it yeah. we go and we don't even know who's selling the stuff out no, of, the, right, of a right, deli right. cup yeah you know why it's, it's like, like that it's like aquashella too Superior. You've been to Aquashell? I've Ooh. seen it. Okay. I've seen it. They they do have stuff for sale, but surprisingly, there's very little like fish for sale. It's not really about the the animals themselves. Because I mean, if you're in that industry, people are people have access to them yeah. for the most part anyways. Yeah. But it's for equipment, it's for corals that people can bring, which is a yes. lot easier to go ahead and it's, carry. It's about the experience in some of the things you can sell. I feel like we should move towards that. Yeah. I, I fuck with that. I think like uh, a table as a podcast. So okay, here's, here's some what's rare though. snakes for you mm-hmm. to be able to hold and take photos with, or whatever the fuck mm-hmm. it is. And I sit down with the top motherfuckers. This of is the what reptile. this is what sucks about reptiles. I'm not gonna lie, and it's that it's so easy to go ahead and make a flea market type show with reptiles, and it's because yeah. of how small they are, how easy it is to go ahead and put them on tables, and then everybody there's a lot of uh, breeding of them, selling of them, all that stuff. You know, fish. A lot harder, a lot harder, especially if you're coming across the country. Plant plant expos are really easy, really really easy because yeah. they don't they're not they are alive, but like they don't there's no like ethical concerns about their uh, their transport about how you're holding them nothing. Okay. Cattle and like farming stuff you obviously can't bring livestock oh, to some on mass like to stuff like that. Yeah, yeah, you but know? but the fact that they made it happen without it. No, it's exactly, exactly. To me. And it's also like an older industry to like people oh, who are, are oh, more so rural. Rich. Yeah. Like yeah, yeah, they oh, they were so They don't rich. need to go to a uh, an expo to buy cows. <laughs> you know, yeah. they're like I already have cows. I want the new the newest character. Show me the newest character. But imagine if the reptile industry moved towards something like <clears> that. <throat> Where we sell, we do sell reptiles, but what if, bro, if you make a setup that everything looks like this, or like everything's like super bioactive, or you make the sickest enclosure of the entire thing and you steal the show, and not only that, not only the tables, Mm -hmm. but these people were putting time to the ceiling. Yeah. Like, there were so many things in the ceiling, like lighting up and things that moved, and they just made a presentation that if you're in that industry, you will not forget the people that were standing out. Speaking of shows, real quick. We got to plan Daytona after this bet, podcast. Bet, bet. Yeah. Let's do it. But with the... I think there's three reasons why with reptiles, it's a lot more difficult. One is because of an old mentality. Mm. People think that yes. reptiles have to be kept a certain way, yes. and they will mm. continue to do that. Until that changes and public opinion changes about that, it's going to keep going. Second thing is going to be, I think, a, a, a very serious lack of companies like in terms of amount of companies that are doing reptile equipment. You know, I think you can name them all in your hand, yeah. you know? Well, it doesn't even have to be about equipment. It's like, well, but it, animal, it doesn't it, promote it's uh, almost, competition. It, it, and and, and it, it also shows me right now, just thinking about it, it's almost like what Animal Con is making it into a reptile show. Yeah, yeah. Jesus. Yeah, but there's no, there's no like competition bet- inter- like between companies to improvise and to do better. Exactly. It, the ne- the newest thing that that uh that a reptile company is gonna put out is like, hey, we guys, we got this kind of hide now, and it's like, that's just all right. We got this kind of new plant. Like, what is that? That's trash. The reptile industry isn't big enough yet. I don't think it will ever ah. be. I don't think it'll be huge to begin with. But the reason why, I, at least for me, what I was thinking mm-hmm. about my answer for all that, the reason why that convention was so big and like crazy is because 
they are more useful mm -hmm. to society than yeah. the reptiles are because yeah. the reptiles are purely a enthusiast for sure. thing yeah. for sure yeah. but it, the marketing behind it it's just perfect and if we bigger. were and if no if we were to match close as close as we could to the marketing we would do a lot better mm. i people feel like if we people farmed reptiles in some sort of way similar it would be just the same Wait, there would be the reptile shows and then there'd be like the industry trade shows just like how honestly the the best equivalent to that is like those pet shows the gross. Like, are actual like gross. like the the stores and stuff like that that's more closely the global related. pet expo you mean yeah okay like that that's more closely related to that whereas i feel like the reptile show is more like a like a, a livestock auction it's a flea yeah. market yeah 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 i flea agree market. i agree that's it's the nature of what it is and that was my third thing i was saying three things the third thing is that it's too easy to make that kind of uh, uh a thing with reptiles it's like just put them on tables and sell them i wish it was cool. i mean it's also the purpose of the thing. When you go to Comic Con, you're not going there to buy comic books. You're going there to meet <laughs> actors. You're going there to to cosplay. You're going. It's it is an experience, like with Catacon. You're going there for the thing. You're with but like we can people. Make the experience. But how? How? Actually, there was a, a Facebook. There's a Facebook group called Central Florida Herpetological Society. If you go up north, herpetological societies are amazing. Like people meet up weekly. They go ahead and discuss reptiles. They're all herping together. They're all uh, with with scholars and scientists reading books, signing books. Like Imagine it's fantastic. It doesn't up. happen here. Someone on in that Facebook group was like, "Hey, I came from up north. I think New York or Pennsylvania. So one of them." And he's like, um, "I want to go ahead and see if there's something like that here." There used I, to be. I think in South Florida they no, might no, have a Central Florida society. used to have it. No, yeah, 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 but it. It just doesn't happen. It's it's not real anymore. Why aren't people doing it? Why aren't people making this uh, a community thing, an experience type of thing? When you go to a reptile expo, it's like yeah. let's make this uh, and I will an say, experience. I will say, I will say, the not podcast itself is part of an experience. So I imagine, okay. imagine like podcasting, like different YouTubers going. You get to meet all of these people. You get to learn about animals, bro. I will go over there and spend time setting up a tank and put like. A rare crocodilian in it. You haven't Wasn't been? there a show that did that? I was going to no, say. No, no, no. I, no, I was no, going to no. say. I was no, going to no, say. No, no, no. no. There was no, no, another no, no, no. show that did that at West Palm recently. It's not, it's not like I imagine a Repticon, but that in different booths. And then it's like. Scale, the Scales Expo. Yes, yes, yeah. yes, yes. I don't know I, that one. I didn't, I didn't, I didn't go. I didn't go. Fuck. Oh, well. Yeah. But I, I think what you're saying is like kind of like Animal Con. It's Animal Con, Animal Con mix is still it up. Young. Yeah, is Animal it? Is it get young. Animal Con mix it up with the a reptile, reptile shows, show. and you have that new thing that brings all sorts of people. Yeah, like, like Mega Con. Uh, yeah, like a reptile yeah. show. You go in to buy reptiles, not really to look much. Because if you go to a reptile show to look, a lot of the vendors don't even want to talk to you because mm -hmm. they're not gonna make money off of you. Yeah, they want. What I'm talking animals, about, whatever. you go and people are willing to give you their time. Because okay. that's what you're going for. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe having certain personalities present at uh, Reptile Expos. Like going the ahead. members and, of the Reptiles with podcast. Yeah. <laughs> and promoting yeah. it. <laughs> Imagine our faces on the billboards. <laughs> <laughs> like, you know what I mean? Yeah, like, yeah, like yeah, yeah. Use the marketing of the people you have and make it an actual community. We should just buy tables at all the Reptile Expos in Florida and just go ahead and say, yeah, we're here to sign books. <laughs> <laughs> we don't have a book. We don't have, we don't have a book. No, they bring books. Actually, the guys. They bring books and we sign them. <laughs> what? That's all I'm saying. Oh, actually, I do want to... There is a way to get a... Like, a, a very... A decently simple way to make, like, kids' books. I want to make a kids' book. Guess what? Cool. Me too. What? Beat you to it. Fuck! <laughs> yeah, he did do that. That's funny. Yeah. Beat you. When? Well, I'm not talking about it here. <laughs> okay, 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 okay. Well, it's it's like... it's pretty great. Yeah, nice. it's me and Daniel. Oh, nice. nice. Yeah. Oh yeah. We can we can capitalize uh, we can capitalize on that. You know why? 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 Because people aren't buying as much at shows anymore. That is true too. That is true too. People are just coming to it out, look to look. So yeah. why not make them look harder? There we go. I'll make them harder. <laughs> <laughs> or just have different things for them to do. Yeah. 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 I think make when you go to fun. an expo, you want to make it make like it an experience. Make it fun, bro. Yeah. Make it, bring it's a couple always of fun by the modern it. reptile table. You guys should oh. go to the yeah. <laughs> Listen, here's a set. Podcast table. Mm -hmm. Tables behind it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Someone has a nice animal that people can hold and interact no, with. I have one. And a gallery of... Well, there was, there was, um, uh, real quick. There was one Fuck guy... You. Who charged people to go ahead and go in a pen with a sulcata? But we're not charging for that. And that's oh like, I'm my like, that's god! Like, I'm you not can't gonna come lie, to a reptile like, and do that. Bro, that's I have the one. bar really low. I have one. <laughs> I have one. Bring out a table to the middle of the walkway. Sit me on it. 
<laughs> right? And then say, tubs are garbage, change my mind. <gasps> Okay. That would be cool. As but yo, like an episode for the pod, yo. that'd be fire. Come on, I'm not gonna lie. Come on, fire. what are you doing? Think? That, bro, not exactly <laughs> that. Not that. Not that. That's just me talking no, shit. No, no, no. But like, like an idea of that. that. We're because doing that. instead of us going out to look for people to come in, we're just waiting for somebody to sit down yep. and have a conversation. Yep. We could figure something like that out. We'll Tell me that's not. We'll talk yeah. About it. All right. Listen. Do we have anything else? Now nah, we're done. Bye. All right. This was the Reptiles with podcast.